Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a Java project which is entitled as Lightweight and Expressive Fine Grain Access Control for Healthcare Internet of Things which is an IEEE 2022 transaction paper. Before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So we all know that the healthcare IoT, that is healthcare Internet of Thing, is growing day by day because it is a, a small kind of device that monitors the patient's health records like sugar, blood pressure kinds of things. So they need the patients can need not go to the hospital directly or not go to the doctors directly instead they can be in anywhere in a place like their home and they can track their health records and the data are being sent to the hospitals and the doctors can able to prescribe the medication according to the received data but the problem with this healthcare iot devices is like the security because the data that is being transmitted to the servers like cloud server the patients will have the privacy issue because the data is all the healthcare records data so that should be secured so in the existing system to secure those they already use the cryptographic tools but the problem with the using this cryptographic tools is like they cannot be applied to iot kinds of thing because it can it it, it it does not compute more power on it so we should have some lightweight system so for that purpose in the proposed system we are proposing a novel healthcare iot system where it uses the efficient flexible and secure fine grain access control mechanism with the data verification in the iot healthcare system uh, the main difference is like this proposed system does not require any secure channel so instead of any secure channel this verification method will be working and the data users can enjoy the lightweight decryption concept so now let us see how it is working so in the system architecture you can find the data owners or patients or the data owners so here you can see the embedded devices but we are not going to any use any device this is a software project so just we are going to enter the uh, re data records manually by the patients and here you can see the medical staff there are different medical staffs like doctors nurses kinds of things so that has been available here so they are the data users so there are patients or the data owners or the the doctors or the data users and here you can see the cloud server in, and again there is a two different entities that is KGC that is key generative center this is the main entity which transmits the keys to the required U entities and here you can see the additional proposed console that is head server so first thing is like uh, the patient will be uploading the data uh, so for that KGC should approve that one so first thing is like system will be system parameters are broadcasted to the edge server and the data owners and then the public key uploading is done by the medical staff and so once after this approval kinds of thing the data owner will be uploading the data to the cloud and then the uh, fetching of the cipher text will be done and the partial decryption is sent by the edge server to the data users and then the final decryption will be done so now let us see the execution of the project so we have developed this project in java using netbeans id 8.2 so first to open netbeans id 8.2 so first let me import the project into the netbeans id so just go to the file menu and click open project now you need to go to the source code location where you can find the source code folder and then select the light fine grain access and then click open project so now kindly wait till the project has been loaded into the NetBeans part so here you can see the progress of it meanwhile let us attach the database in the MySQL part so just go to the MySQL administrator so uh, opening the MySQL administrator enter the username and password as root and root and then click OK and now you can see the restore option just select the restore option and then click the open backup file now again go to the source code location where you can find the database folder just open the database folder and select the database and then click start restore and now you can see the message the restore operation was finished successfully and click close so now we can close this mysql administrator because we have attached the database successfully so now coming back to the netbeans ide you can see the project has been loaded and now let us execute it so just right click it and then click run and kindly wait till the project has been transferred to the browser part so 
So now you can see the home screen. I will continue the project with the project title, lightweight and expressive fine grain access control for healthcare internet of things. So now you can see the entities that is KGC, patient, medical staff, cloud server and etc. As I said before, KGC is the main entity which transfers the keys and here the patients or the data owners and medical staff the data users and cloud server and the edge server of it. So these are the entities of the project. And now let me show you the things one by one. So first thing is like, uh, let me go to the KGC part. So in KGC, cloud server and edge server these are single entities there is no any registration for it only the patients and the medical staffs are the registration the user can be created others are a single entity so the the passwords or uh, the login has been given in the login where cloud server is cs edge server is es and kgc is kg so using this you can able to log in to the uh, the particular entity so just log in the kgc with the username and password as kgc and kgc and click submit and now after the login is successful it will be navigated to the kgc home page where you can find the patient authorization medical staff patient details and staff details and everything is empty because we have not done anything and the rest now we are executing the project same applicable to the cloud server also so just log in with the username and password as cs and cs and it will be navigated to the cloud server home page where you can see the medical records we have not uploaded anything so this is empty and glow and log out now go to the edge server just click the edge server and then click yes yes as the username and password and click submit and in the edge server it will be navigated to the edge server home page where you can see the access requests access transactions and log out and now coming to the medical staff so first go create a medical staff so just click the medical staffs so it will be navigated to the login form but we don't have any uh, medical staff login details so as we are new user first let me register it so just click the register so it will be navigated to the medical staff registration form so first enter the medical staff details so now let me create a medical staff called Alice and enter a phone number and email id alice at gmail.com and role as hospital and now let me enter the hospital as triple x hospital and the hospital address as chennai the password as alice and then click submit so now you can see the registration is success and registration is done and click ok so now it will be navigated to the medical staff login form so if i give the email id and the password for the created and you can see the message even if you're giving the correct username and password it is showing that you are not at approved please try again later so the thing is that even if they have registered perfectly the kgc should approve it so as i intimated the kgc is the important entity of the proposed system so just log in into the kgc so here in the kgc part if you go to the medical staff part you can see that uh, the detail that i have entered that is alice email id the phone number and everything is being shown and here you can see the status has been waiting so here the kgc should approve the medical staff to log in into the system this is to secure the system and also to generate the keys for the system so if the kgc rejects is the the medical staff which is created cannot be logged into the system so now let me create approve and kindly note that so once if they will approve the keys will be generated in the d drive so just go to the d drive so here you can see there is no any folder called kgc now so but now after creating approve so you can see the medical staff account activated and public keys have been generated click ok so now if you go to the d drive and if i refresh you can see the kgc folder is now created you can see the date and time that is 12th june 2023 1 25 pm so just open it and you can see the alice at gmail.com is the folder that you have created for the doctor so here we have kept the email id as unique so you cannot create the same uh, user with the same email id so that has been created and if you open this folder you can see the keys for the public and the secret keys that is created for the kgc one so coming back to the project part so here you can see the now there is no any pending authorization so the table is empty if you go to the staff details you can see which has been approved now it has been active now so you can see that the alice is now active so now let me log out and now if you go to the medical staff details and if you enter the 
same username and password which you have done earlier you can see the no login is success because kgc has approved it and now it will be navigated to the medical staff home and here you can see the details of get patient detail access structure and access transaction now we have not done anything so it is empty or repeat logout so now let me go to the medical staff again or now let me create an another medical staff so now let me name it as bob bob and now what i'm going to do is like i'm going to use the same email id which we have created earlier as i said there will be only one email id we can create so let me show you what happens if i'm going to use the same one so now let me create this so now let me create the password for the bob as bob and then click submit so now you can see the email id is already registered it is showing that they cannot able to register one so now let me uh, create a new one bob bob at gmail.com we cannot use the same email id again so that was the thing i've shown you and click submit and now you can see the registration is done and if you go to the kgc part If you go to the medical staff you can see the bob registration which you have done has been waiting for the authorization now now let me approve it so now you can see the, the keys are being generated and if you go to the folder you can see the bob uh, folder has been created and here there is a keys for the particular uh, patient that is a medical staff and now if you go to the staff details you can see the second one has been added now again and now let me log out from this part and now let me go to the patient part so as i don't have any patient details so first let me create a patient so let me click the patient registration and it will be named the patient registration form so now let me enter the patient name as prakash r and let me select a file for photo for this user and enter the father's name date of birth gender phone number email id emergency contact number address the password and then click submit so now the registration is success so whatever we did for the medical staff should be followed for the kg for the patients also because the patient cannot be able to log in because the key should be generated by the kgc part so just log into the kgc and now if you go to the patient authorization here you can see the thing that we have created jay prakash with the patient has been waiting for the approval in the patient authorization so here if you click the, the kgc as the uh, up the authorization of uh, approving or rejecting the patient also because this is to secure the unauthorized users into the system so this makes the security concept and just click the approve and now you can see the patient account is activated and click ok and now if you go to the patient details you can see the patient detail that has been active so this is the only patient right now available and now let me log out so now let me go to the patient login and just enter the email id and the password which you have created now and click submit and now you can see the login is success because kgc has approved this patient and it will be named to the patient home page so where you can see the details of upload data update so where you can see the upload data update we are not updated any data so if you're clicking this it, it may show some error so i'm not clicking that one so here we'll go to the data access details so there is no any data access so first let me upload the data so before uploading the data so as this is a cloud based project we need to upload the data into the cloud server so for that purpose we are using drivehq so if you go to drivehq.com 
uh, this is the free cloud service provider that we are going to upload our data into the drive HQ. so here you need to create a account in it so just click the sign up and you can create a username and password for it and then you need to activate that account only if you activated the account the data that will be stored in this drive HQ. so for that purpose for go to the coding part coding part so in the source code folder go to the src folder in the java folder you can find the ftp con dot java just open this the line number 30 you can see the details of username and password where you need to replace this is you need to delete this username and you need to enter the username of your drive hq account and you need to enter the password of your drive hq account here and you need to save this code and then execute it then only it will be saved whatever you are uploading here that will be saved into your account or else it will be stored only in the local it will not be reflected in the drive hq part so now I have entered the my credentials into the drive HQ code and now let me enter the details here like O positive, diabetes yes, diabetes type, type 2, hypertension yes, if you have any scan reports you can just enter, just uh, enter only a small size, don't upload any bigger size photos here. So now let me enter. Uh, A scan report here and uh, any other diagnosed disease yes or no no and uh, diagnosis details if not applicable not up if you wanted you can enter the details here and then click upload to cloud and after a few seconds you can see the data is uploaded and click ok and now if you go to the data access uh, now if you go to the update part you can see here clear it uh, it may show some error now it will not show because it the data has been uploaded now and now i will show you the drive hq part so just log in into the drive hq with my username and password i am logging in so here you can see the date and time 12th june 2023 1:35 pm which i have done it so with the patient id so just click it and you can see the complete data is been encrypted for the security purpose so it is made confirm that the data that we uploaded is been shown in the drive which we upload into the cloud part also now we can close this drive with queue part so now let me log out from this part and now let us go to the medical staff part so now let me log in with the alice and click submit and if you go to the patient details part so here get patient details part here the doctor or the medical user can be able to get the patient details by three ways that is by, by name by phone number by patient id so first let me show you with the name so if i give any name any other name you can see there is no any data with the same name which i have given so it has failed so now let me give the name that i have given and click submit and now you can see the patient detail which i have given is being shown here now i mean again i will go to get patient details and now let me click search by phone number and if i give some number and click submit you can see it is failed because there is no any data with that number I'm giving my number and click search. Sorry, I'll need to click this search by phone and click submit. And you can see the patient detail that has been extracted again. And last one is like search by patient ID. So if I'm giving the patient ID, it will be reflected. If I'm giving some other patient ID, you can see it is failed. So only with the exact patient id it will be reflected and it will be retrieving the data so now coming to the access control part so to get this data so first let me click action get data and now you can see the patient data request has been sent and click ok and now if you go to the access status you can see the request status has been waiting because it should be verified then only the data request can be satisfied and you can see there is no any verification key is generated if you wanted to view the data you can see the request is not up to the access is rejected message and in the access transaction you can see it has been waiting now or oh, now let me log out from this part so now coming to the edge server part so edge server should send the partial 
decrypted message so just click log in to the edge server and if you go to the access request there you can see the access request which is being done by the medical user is being shown and it is been waiting so now they need to verify it so now what happens is like if you click verify the keys that is being generated by the KGC will be verified and only if it has been authorized the key the decryption keys will be given to the particular medical user so now let me click verify and now you can see medical staff key verified and partial decrypted text sent and click OK and now if you go to the logout and go to the medical staff part so now let me go to the access status so now you can see earlier it was waiting and now you can see the request status has been now approved so now you can see the verification key so the verification key is being generated for this medical user and now let me click view data and it asks for the verification key if you are giving some random key you can see in correct decryption key so only if you are giving the exact key you can able to see the decrypted patient medical data of the particular patient and here you can see the also we have uploaded some image so if you wanted to download that you can just click this download scan report so now it will be downloaded with the patient ID as the image name so this is what we have uploaded this report and now if you want to download this doctor we need to download the data they can click download data it will be saved in or tf format rich text format and click save with the patient id name as the file name and if you open that you can see the patient id patient name phone number blood group diabetes diabetes type hypertension uh, diagnosed and all the details is being shown in the rtf format and now if you go to the access transaction you can see this access transaction which is been approved is being updated as a request status and now let me log out and go to the patient part so patient should know that uh, the status of their data right so for that purpose if you go to the patient login and you can see data access earlier you can see that data access details that is data request transaction was empty because that was not being used by any other one so now it is being used so that is showing uh, id and which hospital has used that one hospital name what is the medical staff and requested status approved or rejected or what is the date and time so the patients also come to know that so the data has been accessed to by the which medical user or a mid user that has been updated here and in the update part if you wanted to update anything like uh, allergic medicine you can just uh, enter the detail as I am uh, allergic by this XXX medicine and click update so that will be updated in their database also so now this part is completed and now let me log out and if you go to the cloud server part earlier we could have seen that it was empty and now let me show you that if the medical records is being shown with the patient name patient phone number everything is being encrypted for the security purpose because cloud server is also a third party entity so this should not be known to that anyone so that purpose it is being encrypted and now let me log out part So now let me go to the uh, patient part. Now I will create a new patient. So now I have created a new patient. I will approve that patient now by going to the KGC. Uh, 
I will approve this now patient is activated and now let me go to the patient part so now I will upload the data here So here you need to select some small size image only if you are using some larger size there may be some it will not be uploaded in the data, database there may be some error on it. So now just click to, up, click to upload. So now you can see the data is uploaded and click ok. Now if you go to the data access details it is empty and now let me log out and now if you go to the medical staff now what I am going to do is like I am going to log in with the Bob. So earlier we have logged in with the Alice uh, doctor and now we are going to Bob account. And now if you go to the get patient details you can search the details by uh, name and you can see the details that has been given and then click get data. And now you can see the patient data request has been sent and click ok. And now let me log out and you can see it has been waiting now access status has been waiting now verification key is not generated and click log out and now let me go to the edge server part so here so now if you go to the access request so now so now what i'm going to do is like before clicking verify now i'm going to change the keys so now what i'm going to do is like uh, in the bob part i'll delete any key for example i'll delete secret dot key don't delete both so just I'll delete only one secret. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just copy this uh, secret key from Alice and going to paste that in the Bob. So this is like I'm showing this that how the verification is working part and uh, I'm giving a wrong keys like that. So how it is going to verify that one for that purpose only I'm just deleting one of the keys and replacing with some other keys and this is not a correct one. So how it is going to identify let us check that one so now I will click verify so now you can see the verification is failed because the key that is given is a wrong one so now if you go to the access transaction you can see the the patient ID that is requested that has been failed now let me log out and go to the medical staff that is Bob part And if you go to the access status you can see the request status has been failed and they cannot able to view the data because it has been rejected if you go to the access transaction you can see that has been failed so now we have made sure that that works correctly by the access control mechanism by the keys that is being generated so now let me log out from this part so we have covered the KGC patient medical staff cloud server and edge server so as per the architecture that we have shown it has been working and this is all about the project lightweight and expressive fine grain access control for healthcare internet of things and thank you for watching.